from the driver's point of view or from my point of view it felt like the truck was clear so I was expecting a restart but maybe there are things in the background that I don't know and that uh, yeah and maybe that's why we couldn't start I don't know. I mean, last time out in Zandvoort, you went in to pit between the virtual safety car and the safety car. You got really unlucky there. And then today, we saw you go in, and then the virtual safety car goes, and it seems again you've got unlucky with the timing of it. Uh, yeah, well, I, I and, don't and know. That's not, I'm not blaming anyone here. I'm saying literally, you've been really unlucky with those. Yeah, well, I mean, today I, I think it's very difficult to predict the a virtual safety car ending. Then, uh, of course, uh, when you look uh, the whole season, there are many races where we could have done things better. But uh, today, again, I. I, I don't think it's that clear and unfortunately we, we look like now we've done the bad choice but uh, just because we didn't get the full benefits of our choice. How uh, good is that Red Bull and how difficult is this challenge now to, to try and win a race before the end of the season? They are, they are really good, especially in the race, especially managing the rear overheating. Um, so on that they seem to have uh, the upper hand. If we can put two cars up there with to fight Max and uh, it can be Charles and me and not Charles on his own, I think it will be a lot trickier for Red Bull to win it. Uh, honestly, I don't think we, we tried whatever we could. Uh, Max had a fantastic race. He has been very fast today. Once again, less tire, tire degradation to us. And uh, I think somehow we deserve the win at the end. A bit disappointed for the, for the ending because I think we could have finished differently the race. Finishing behind the safety car is never great. Not for us, for the F1, for the show. And I think there was plenty of time to, for the, the FIA to act differently today. <laughs>